Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to deploy a microprofile Quarkus application um, on AWS Lambda behind an application load balancer. And uh, I would like to use the CDK Cloud Development Kit uh, for uh, packaging and, and, and deployment. And um, yeah, I will just use the uh, template from my GitHub account, the uh, Quarkus Lambda CDK plain template. So let's start. Um, this script just clones the template, and I would like to call the function LD, a hex uh, load balancer, and it uh, opens two Visual Studio Code project. One uh, is the actual microprofile app, so not, not nothing special. JaxRS with a little bit of injection and uh, microprofile config, and um, what's important for application um, load balancer, I will need the REST API gateway format. So um, I would like to replace the HTTP API integration with the um, REST API integration because the application load balancer, the ELB, understands the REST API gateway and not the newer one. So now the Quarkus um, is set up to understand the application load balancer events. So that's all, and now move to, to the more interesting part, to the CDK. So this uh, template, uh, so my template, uh, ships um, with the HTTP API integration because it's more common in my projects. So um, per default, the uh, Lambda API gateway stack is used. So what I would like to do today is to replace the API stack, which we already covered in, in the screencast, with the newer Lambda ALP stack application load balancer stack. So, and uh, this stack is, is um, uh, resides here in the ALB package, and uh, this is the Lambda ALP stack, and the um, application load balancer is more complex than the HTTP API gateway because it requires a public, public VPC uh, with the actual load balancer. So this is the construct which creates the load balancer uh, with the uh, VPC. And uh, the Lambda ALP stack is just like the glue which integrates everything. So it creates the Quarkus Lambda. And by the way, the uh, Quarkus Lambda is a construct which creates the Lambda itself, but is used by HTTP API, REST API, as well as the ALB um, integration. So this is the Quarkus Lambda part. So the, um, and what happens here is the Quarkus Lambda is created. Then the public VPC is created. We ask, you know, the construct to return the actual uh, VPC. Then we pass the VPC to the application load balancer. We ask the Quarkus Lambda for the actual function. We create a Lambda target and pass the target to the load balancer. Uh, we set up a health check and we also set up a listener which listens on port 80. Um, and then a couple of outputs, convenient outputs, and one even generates the curl command. So let's see whether it is working. And um, I would like to launch or build everything with build and deploy don't ask and what happens here now first the Quarkus app is built then the CDK uh, is is uh, packaged or the app is packaged with CDK and deployed and what I would expect is to see the lambda function in a couple of minutes here in my AWS account um, now the deployment can take a while because uh, the um, installation of the application load balancer or the application load balancer is uh, slower to install than the HTTP API gateway. So it can take two or three minutes. So hopefully it will work. So let's see what happens. So it took a couple of minutes to install the uh, load balancer, but let's see whether it is actually working. So I would like just to copy and paste the command and it's working. So um, so we uh, get immediate results. So uh, we also see that this AWS ELB 2.0. So it seems to work. Let's take a, take a look here on, on the Lambda. So we have our greetings boundary uh, Lambda, which was created four minutes ago. So the deployment took four minutes. And uh, the Lambda um, should be available here. Um, or monitoring data should be available for this Lambda. Let's take a look at the uh, CloudWatch metrics. And um, we should see that our Lambda was called right now and the invocation took, took around, 
Yeah, the call start was 400 milliseconds and all subsequent invocations were roughly 5 milliseconds. Thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, conferences, AirHex TV projects, or uh, listen to my podcast on AirHex FM. So thank you and bye.